The Journal of Jesuit Studies, or JJS, is an open access, peer-reviewed publication dedicated to studying Jesuit history. From its origins in the 16th century, right up to the present day, JJS publishes research on a wide range of topics, including the Jesuit role in the arts and sciences, theology, philosophy, mission, literature, interreligious and intercultural encounters. The editorial staff of the Journal of Jesuit Studies has made a direct commitment to global coverage and to coverage of topics that are not the usual subjects. We have uh, designed the issues to be topical so that they cover things which are not necessarily immediately associated with Jesuit studies. We are interested in literature and in film and in um, sub-Saharan African uh, as well as uh, Far East Asian history and therefore um, deliberately appeal to a wide audience. And we are aware that our readership is broad as a result of this appeal. Uh, open access in part makes that possible too. It's not just a question of the topics, but also the availability. Articles published in JJS have been covered by popular news outlets. I was so excited to be invited to edit a special issue of the Journal of Jesuit Studies on the history of the Jesuits and slavery. Because I teach at a school, Georgetown University, that's connected to the Jesuits and has its own deep history and historical ties to slavery. So being able to put together a special issue of the Journal of Jesuit Studies was a great opportunity for us to take the research that, that we've done and make it known to fellow scholars, students, and their broader public. It's an important story and one that's really caught the imagination of, um, I think, a lot of people outside the ivory tower. JJS is published quarterly with financial support from sponsors from around the world. As Vice Rector of Aramiskevich University in Poznań, I'm particularly pleased to, to support the publication of uh, JJS because my university's historical connection with Jesuits. The history of the university in Poznań begins in the 16th century when in 1519 uh, Roman Catholic Bishop Jan Lubrański founded the first academy in town. Shortly afterwards, another institution of higher education the Jesuit College in 1573 was established in Poznań. In 1611, uh, King Sigismund III Vasa granted the Jesuit College the status of the first university type school in Poznań. So one could say that supporting the journal is the university's opportunity of paying a kind of metaphorical, historical debt. But why open access? Open access allows scholarly publishing to return to its original purpose, to spread knowledge. I'm a PhD student uh, in Hungary from the University of Page. Uh, I'm researching about Jesuit pedagogy and I'm searching for the hints of the uh, spiritual work of uh, St. Ignatius of Loyola. The open access nature of uh, Journal of Jesuit Studies is very useful for me and uh, for the fellow uh, PhD students and uh, young researchers in Hungary, uh, especially in these hard times when uh, researching abroad is uh, very difficult. Owing to the generous support of our sponsors, JJS is completely open access with all articles available free of charge. We thank you for your continued patronage. For inquiries, contact us at the link below.